This is Madrix here in the patch window. I built a grid that's 7x7 seven seven of RGB fixtures. And then over here I've designed about a dozen brief effects which can be displayed on that LED matrix. Over here is the actual matrix of LEDs as I change the patterns and matrix, different things are of course showing up. We're going from the computer to an Entech Pro device to the input of the DECA box, then the through on the DECA box is going to the decoder which is running those LEDs. Now what we're going to do is capture some DMX. This is how it starts up. Get up a bit of a splash screen, shows the version of the firmware, and then we're ready to go. I'll zoom in tight on the first couple and then zoom out so you can see the entire setup here. But basically to record something we press the record bank and it asks to grab or record. A grab is a static Single frame capture, record is dynamic at 44 frames per second. We're going to record. Then it asks for a MIDI note. So I'm going to play middle C, which shows up as number 60 there on the screen. When we're happy with the DMX that's being generated, we press OK. And we are recording DMX to the internal memory card. About uh, seven hours of data can be recorded with a stock card, so there's plenty of room there. Press stop when we're done, so we've saved something for note number 60. Let's bring up another pattern here on Madrix. Zoom out just a bit. There's a back and forth pattern. Let's record this to the next note. So we're going to record, we're going to record, and we're going to assign that to the G above middle C, no, to the F, note number 65, okay. So we're recording now, that particular pattern is being saved to memory, that's good enough, we'll hit stop. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect our DMX input, which is coming from the Madrix computer. Let's see that the screen stops, and we're going to instead we're going to go from DMX through to DMX out from the DACA box. So now we should be able to trigger things just from the keyboard. One of the scenes that I recorded while the camera was out was a blackout, and that's what's showing right now. So now, as we press keys, There's number one, a, uh, a scene will play until the next note is triggered. There's number two, there's number three, I recorded a blackout on the next octave middle C. There's number four, which we recorded a few moments ago, and here's the G. The box does respond fairly quickly. And that's it.